Thanks. And with that in mind, I'd go ahead and bring back in Dr. Ricardo here for the English portion of our program. Um, Dr. Ricardo, as we were just saying in Spanish, um, a lot of mask mandates are being canceled or discontinued across the state of Colorado. What is your overall opinion of that? How should we see that? Well, thank you, Chris. I, I would like to let our audience uh, know that even if we are starting to have these mandates locally, statewide, nationwide, and all over the world, it's not that we're out of the woods yet. Although this will give us the opportunity to start to enjoy going out without a mask, uh, going back to school, going back to work in an office environment, it doesn't mean that the uh, pandemic is over. It, this uh, is the result of having 65% of our population in Colorado vaccinated, plus a high percentage of people who have natural immunity at the same time because they got an infection with the Omicron variant that wasn't severe, or even if it was severe, they still have some kind of uh, antibodies that were developed there. So this brought us in a way to have a moment, maybe a couple of months, two or three months of herd immunity, that's what we wanted to have since the beginning. When you have herd immunity, if I am infected and I join a group of 100 people, perhaps 85% will not, will have antibodies and will not be infected. And my infection will not create a public health problem like it would happen if they're not vaccinated or if they're not immune. So one thing is you have masks, save them. We're going to use them again. And we learned some good things through the pandemic. So let's try to keep on washing our hands, having social distance, cleaning our surfaces and taking care of ourselves and others. Absolutely. And great advice there and something I'll probably continue wearing a mask to the grocery store to avoid getting sick uh, in the future post, hopefully not too long from now, post um, pandemic. Now, the other big question I feel that we're getting a lot is if you do have natural immunity from having already had COVID-19, should we still get vaccinated and or boosted? Yes, and this is something that uh, I also consider important because there we've been learning a lot from, during the past uh, two years that we've been through the pandemic. And after several variants, we realized that people who had two doses of the vaccine of Pfizer or Moderna had a better prognosis or a lighter uh, disease than those who got the disease and were not vaccinated. So we know that uh, uh, two doses are better than not having the vaccine. But now when we start to get boosters and we got the Omicron variant, we realized that people who had Two doses had better prognosis than those who didn't have a vaccine, but those who had three doses are, are the ones who had the best uh, outcomes uh, related to, to being exposed or being infected with Omicron. So what we learned is that the third dose, uh, having the booster is better than only having uh, two doses. So I would invite everybody to come and get vaccinated and let's finish this. We're almost there. Let's get people uh, ready for the next uh, stage in the pandemic or, or uh, the endemic uh, uh, COVID-19. With that in mind, I know that uh, one of the reasons we have you on on a Tuesday specifically is there is normally a vaccine clinic that takes place on Tuesday night, but I know because of the cold and unpleasant weather that that may have been moved. Uh, do you mind telling us about the vaccine clinic and any opportunities for our audience to get vaccinated. Yes, thank you. We are vaccinating uh, walk-ins. You don't need to make an appointment, just come on in at the Mexican consulate at the Ventanilla de Salud, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. You just have to walk in and you can get your vaccine. Don't forget your card. If you don't have your card, we'll help you with that too. But just call, uh, come, in, come on in and you will get a vaccine there. Every Tuesday, except today because of the weather, between uh, four o'clock and eight o'clock at night, we also have uh, walk-ins at Servicios de la Raza. You can just come on in. You don't need an appointment. It's better if you call, but if not, just walk in, 
and you'll get uh, your vaccine. There's no waiting time uh, before you get your vaccine. Uh, it's a very, very simple process. So we're open to the public. And just another thing will be this weekend in uh, Greeley with the Mexican consulate on Saturday from nine to two o'clock and, uh, and Sunday from nine to 12. And I think it's Academia Salida del Sol. I think that's the name of the place that we're going to be. And everybody who is in the area is invited to get their first dose, their second dose or their boosters. Great information and a great service. So thank you, Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez Fisher and Servicios de la Raza for not only this information, but also putting on some of these uh, vaccine clinics. So we really um, appreciate a few minutes of your time here, doctor. Thank you, Chris. And just for moving forward, if you have a question, either English or Spanish, once again, for Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez Fisher or any future guests that we may have, you can email me at chris.bianchi at news.com and I'll make sure that it's answered either this week, well, now in future uh, episodes. That will do it for this week's look at COVID-19 specifically in the Hispanic community here in Colorado. Gracias a todos. And thank you for everyone for being with us. We'll see you again here next week. Gracias.